That is a Probe GT off-roading. We are up at the Holly Oaks Off-Road Park and it is Detroit Four Fest, the first time the park has been open to the public. It's a huge event. We're in the what is called the Vendor Village. So Jeep's got a bunch of stuff out here, some uh, dealerships, some other vendors out here. And then out there is the park where 400 registered vehicles are out ripping around. We'll go out there eventually. There are, this event is huge. We parked over, there's a ski, like, ski place over there called Mount Holly. We parked over there. They've done a lot of work since I was here last. This thing has a Hellcat motor in it. That's, that's awesome. This one is Alex's favorite because it has Senna doors. Why spend 1.3 million when you can get it in a Jeep? You can see through the door, same effect. That was cool. It's got like, the quilting looks like my RS7. It's the same pattern. Look at these. Jeep's got their ride and drive event going on here where you can sign up and I'll take you on the little trail. We found Sean from Stinger Motorsport. He's got his uh, LS, this is LS3, right? Yeah. 675 horsepower. Yeah, 27 cubic inches. Ultra 4, it's uh, crazy. Got the... Uh, the performance out of built in. Really? Yeah, That's really pretty bad. cool. I went for a ride in it and it was uh, insane. We got the Ranger who've been out in that thing too. We've, uh, this is, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was smart and I wore my crappy shoes today. Jeep's doing Jeep things. This is part of the Jeep mating ritual. When they climb on top of each other. This is really cool though. That's the Hellcat Gr uh, Wrangler. This is awesome. This is what a uh, proper Wrangler with the Hellcat. We've been out in this one and it's really fun. <laughs> People have been going off that jump all day. Oh, what the hell? He says not <laughs> Oh, jeez, Aaron. Oh, Cornell, Cornell. Okay. We're doing the VIP lead follow with Aaron here, the uh, fastest race car driver I've been in a vehicle with before. <laughs> Got a bunch of Jeeps behind us. He's missing a wheel. That is battle wounds. The guys have added a ton of stuff to the park since I was last year. I was here like last week filming the Gladiator review and they've carved out entire new trails and groomed it. And obviously I've never seen this many vehicles out here before. The last time I was here, it was just me and like three other trucks. This is sweet. Oh wow, that's new. This is new, holy crap. <laughs> this is sweet. Yeah. Look at that thing. It's got the kids in the back. Oh, is he getting stuck? This thing has an historical plate on it. There we go. That's so cool. <laughs> he just went face first into that. Somebody rolled over slightly. That's on its side. Hope everybody's oh, okay. Yeah. That is, yeah, that is on its side. A lot of people over there helping out. Oh, it's okay. And up. It's... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we're coming to rescue someone who has buried themselves in that. It's more than a puddle. Oh my God! Look how far. <laughs> how does? How does that happen? What? Holy crap! They apparently already broke a toe strap trying to get him out. Oh that thing is in there. <laughs> We're just spinning. Eight wheels are spinning. This you thing is budge. so stuck. You didn't budge at all. Oh my god. We got 12 wheel bird out. Oh, <laughs> nope. It's, it's not going anywhere. This is. Fantastic. Holy crap. You know, Dasher and Dancer and <laughs> <laughs> How long, how long has he been stuck? Uh, it's been about an hour. Oh my yeah. God, that is brutal. This, it was running for a little bit. Yeah. Now it's no longer running. They're just all spinning. Nope. They're just digging themselves in too. This is crazy. There are even more people now. This guy's been a good sport though. I'm just trying to get him out. That blue Jeep is badass. I pulled the truck out earlier. They're bringing, supposedly the bulldozers on its way, which hopefully that can do it. That's gonna take another half hour. Half an hour, cause it does 10 miles an hour max speed. Got the tow truck, the winch, this thing. The strap is hooked up to the frame. They already broke an eight inch strap. The bulldozer is on its way. This is crazy. That thing is very, very, very stuck. All right, the tow trucks, the Jeeps, buggy can out of the way because the bulldozer is here. Holy crap. If this thing doesn't do it, oh, it's gonna. Oh! oh! Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, come on. 
he slipped off the edge. That's that is this is crazy. <laughs> so the bulldozer has to rescue this one first. There we go. There we go. Alright. Bulldozer is coming to the rescue. I think it's massive. I think it's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Alex is making very valid points. This will be able to pull it out. Will the Jeep survive? We're not. It will be, but yeah, will the Jeep. It's gonna be hooked up to the frame, so. There we go. Taking out the slack. We're gonna get whipped, aren't we? I don't know. No, don't do that. Uh, I would rather cut you in half than me. No. <laughs> Is it going? Hey! It's going! Hey! See the little air bubbles coming out. There we go. Oh, you can hear the. I don't feel. Comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with that toe strap. Oh my! Oh. Okay. Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh my God. New toe straps are on. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> 18 foot wide blade. Let's try again. It's gonna crack, it's gonna break. Oh, oh, oh! Holy crap. Look at that mud in the wheel. It's flowing out. Oh my god. <laughs> Water's just gushing out still. This poor Wrangler. Water's still coming out. It was up to the Oh my, seat. it was up to the seat. So you were back there getting soaked. Yeah, yeah, it was up to there on my side. That is crazy. Hey, Roger, I got a picture with that. Hey, Dad gave you a memory, huh? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> this, don't go through the middle unless you have something a little more capable. Here is the... Uh, a dead toe strap. Well, that was certainly eventful and interesting to watch. Uh, welcome to the Holly Oaks ORV right. Detroit Four Fest. Gilman! Gilman, get in! The second it's time Aaron's trying to drive away without you in that truck. God damn it. Oh, we gotta tow it back. That thing is not gonna turn on and run. You do not wanna do that. That lost a wheel. Well, that's unfortunate. So this thing has both a manual transmission and a Hellcat swap. That's cool. We've evolved to touring RVs because General RV is out here. It has a porch. Oh wow. Holy crap. <laughs> this is like an actual home. This is crazy. This is like a kitchen. This is nicer than my kitchen. Wow. I've never been in a trailer like this. The fifth one. I've seen them when I went camping as a kid with my family. Bathrooms here. Something like this is about a hundred grand. Should have bought this into my house. <laughs> this is so cool. We have a casualty. It uh, it is missing a very crucial element of the vehicle. Jeez, that's brutal. Hellcat swapped manual Jeep trail cat. Is it a fuel cell in the back? Yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> oh my God, it's an actual manual. The event is wrapping up. I managed to randomly win a JBL speaker by throwing a ball at a target. It's been a ton of fun. A uh, lot of really cool off-road vehicles. Watching that Wrangler get stuck in the water and getting towed out by like eight different things was pretty cool. The guy was a good sport about it. Feel bad about his Jeep because it's... Matt does and great events. Matt, Matt, Matt Zurbrick does great events. Follow him at uh, Motor City Matt. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. The Holly Oaks Off-Road Park is a ton of fun. I need to get something that goes off-road here and do more Jeep things.